Hi there, today to make the most of our math block, we're gonna look at some Valentine theme math activities. I've picked out four math centers behind me and I've also grabbed out some extra Valentine activities that have been classroom favorites in the past. I'm gonna start with our Valentine bowling and we'll go through some more activities. For Valentine bowling, we have our pins set up and I use these little candy hearts kind of like our gutters to help keep the ball in line. What you're gonna do is roll the ball Count how many we knock down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we want to cross that off on our recording sheet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven knocked down. Look how many are standing. One, two, three. Or you can count on your recording sheet. One, two, three. Ten minus seven equals three. Then you want to set them back up and continue. Tally counting is another favorite in the classroom. This has sets to 10 or sets to 20. I picked out the sets of 20 for my students to work on that counting by fives. These are heart straws I got from Target. You could use red or pink popsicle sticks to keep with the theme. So we want to count that first group of five. One, two, three, four, and then we go across for that tally, five. And you want to keep building until you finish counting the arrangement and then pick the next card and you can use the recording sheet if you want them to write the numerals. Valentine cup stacking, you'll need just red cups or cups with hearts and your arrangement card. So you flip the card. We have our five, so we see we need three at the bottom. One, two, three, and then we need two on the top. One, Two. So they're building the matching sets. So we have five and they're also building it in the same arrangement. And you want to continue until you've built all the cup arrangements. For flip and build, you can do 3D shapes, 2D shapes, or separately. You'll need toothpicks and I have these foam hearts that I got from Oriental Trading. The first card I built was a cube. The second one, I'll go ahead and build it with you. So we flip a square and we want to build that. You'll grab your vertice, which will be the heart, and just connect it right in. And then you need another side. And as much as you can get them using that geometry language that you're targeting is the better. So you can say our sides are connecting at the vertices. We have through one side, two sides. We need another side at the bottom. Connect it with that vertice. One, two, three, we need one more side to connect. And they're looking at the card, making sure their shape matches and trying to get those sides as equal as they can. And you wanna keep going, flip the next card and build the next shape. Mass center number one is number hunt around the room. You'll have your numerals. These are Valentine themed, so they have the hearts hanging around the room. I hole punch the top so they can go on these command hooks and students will take their recording sheet and they hunt around the room for the numeral, identify it eight, and they want to find it and trace it on their recording sheet. They'll continue until they find all the numerals. Another way to play math around the room is to use these tens frame arrangement cards. So they're identifying how many on the tens frame and they're recording it on their sheet. So they'll go around. Same as the recording sheet before, except this time they're recording the numeral and they're also drawing the arrangement. Math center number two has two counting activities in it. I included two activities because the students finish these quickly. The first one is they take out their heart. It's an orange number one and they wanna build that same matching set with the same color. So you find one orange and slide it right on. So this is a great fine motor practice. They're building the matching arrangement. You continue until you finish all the colors and the numbers. The next one are heart counting. What you wanna do is pick out the card and then using your counters, these are little heart counters. You wanna build the matching arrangement. One, two, three, four at the bottom. One, two, three, four, three in the middle, 
one, two, three, two more at the top, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It matches. And they'll pull another card and build the matching numeral in the matching arrangement. So this has our fine motor practice with the beads counting and sorting the numbers, and we have our heart counting activities. Math center number three is Valentine Count and Cover Wreck and Wreck. Inside the bin, we have what we need for our activity. We have our Wreck and Wreck, our tiles, and our card. So I'll put the Wreck and Wreck above, our tiles to cover, and I'll pick out the cards so we can get started. So the first one, you want to count how many on the card? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We want to build it. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And some students might be able to go 10, group it by the fives, 15, 16. So count it, build it, and then cover it on the board. And then you pick another card and continue until the board is covered. Math center four are Valentine matchup cards. So in one set, I divided them up. You can play them all together, but one has the numeral, one has 10 frame arrangements, and the other has base 10 blocks. So the first one has our 10 frame arrangement cards. I put in a foam counter. If you're doing numbers above 10, you'll need two of them in there. So they flip the card and build the ratching arrangements. So five, six, seven, five, six, seven. And pick the next card and build the matching arrangement again. The next one is the numeral cards. I put connecting cubes in with this. So you can play it a, diff a lot of different ways. This, what I had in mind was you're gonna build towers. So this is number one. You'll pick one off and put it on top. For seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you put the tower on top and you can keep going until you've built all the numeral cards. The last one is base 10. So I need a little bigger container for this. You're picking out the card and building the matching arrangement with your base 10 blocks. So 10, 10. Pick the next card and keep building. You can play this in a lot of different ways. I just wanted to show you with each of the materials that you can use. I hope you were able to find some activities that you can use in your classroom. I will add links to the materials and the activities that I use today in the description below. So check there for any links you might need. If this video was helpful to you, make sure you like it so I can create more like this in the future. And stay tuned for more videos to make the most of our math block.